For seven months of the year, nothing grows here. As a human being, if you have to grow up in this harsh environment, you have to be tough. Uh, and the same is with the plants or with animals. Historically, we had uh, more like a food culture to survive, which is more about preserving methods because we had to make things last over the months that we cannot grow. They made uh, butter which could last for the, most of the winter. This was the purest and finest part of the milk, the fat. Many of these techniques, or what they did, are coming a little bit through again. When you talk about food culture, you talk about a story, but also relationship and nearness to the product. Nowadays, it's very much about reinventing what used to be the story, and then uh, the interest for Nordic food has really risen from the last 15 years. Many chefs go back and see that the ingredients that we can grow in this country is, is fantastic. Hvis man tänker på det store utland så tänker jeg vel at alle sammen tenker at Norge har veldig mye laks. Men jeg er mest stolt av egentlig det vi har av skalldyr og skjell og grønnsakerne våre. Så har jeg lyst til å videreformidle det til mine gjester igjen også. To be a vegetable in Norway, it's a really short and intense life. And that makes it so precious because everything is in this life-death Everything is on the edge. Vi normen har varit vant att ha det ganska tufft i århundra. Ehm grönsakerna som växer har haft tuffa villkor, djuren har haft tuffa villkor. I think we are really lucky to be Norwegians that we have this harsh environment, nature that gives also more flavor to the product when it's been under so difficult circumstances. It's about the forest where the animals is walking in and the soil where the plants they are growing in and the cows, their milk tastes like the landscape that they are moving. You can taste the autumn light. You can taste the cold nights and the sunny days. Yeah, this is the taste of Norway. Of course it is. Do that first. Visit the sea. And then maybe later on the day, go and have the fish dinner. Visit the forest. Explore the smells and see what's there. And then you will maybe also see them on your plate with later on the day. People come here to see the picture. And we want them to feel the picture also. Rainy or cold or warm. And then you can taste the picture.